and it's game on. And it's a reversal pattern, meaning that whatever led to this pattern, now that market has been thrown in reverse. We are crashing right now. We just had a CPI print that was worse than expected. Now, I never look at the numbers, right? I look at how does the market um, respect the numbers? How does the market react to the numbers? And to me, uh, you know, my whole thesis is that patterns equal trajectory. And it's very easy to get knocked off course. This is what the markets do. They do this giant misdirect all the time. So here is the, what is the Dow Jones on my, on my MT4. You can see that this is what's happening today. Right now, we were up 350 and now we're down 350. That's a 700 point swing. Now, I put on puts yesterday. I didn't know what the number was going to be, but I can see what the patterns are. Pattern equals trajectory. Now, this has been a very, very difficult market. Because, you know, you get these huge swings up, you get these huge swings down. But, you know, and this is why, you know, it, uh, it's all about discipline and commitment. We can talk about trades every day, trying to make money every day. But that's really not how the markets work. The markets work in sequences. They do these misdirects. And, you know, if you're all busy kind of getting long and getting sucked into this thing and it goes up four days in a row and all of a sudden now you're so convinced, now you're loaded up and then it's, you know, goes the other way before you can breathe. This is, you know, what I try and, you know, counsel. It's the, the fine line that, you know, I feel like I walk at the pattern trader where um, I know everybody wants outcome and results and the shiny object every day. But trading is about, you know, sequences and time and commitment and discipline. To me, the bigger patterns are still very bearish. But, you know, the market knocks you off all the time, knocks you off course, where you go going, Mark's saying it's so bearish, and yet it does nothing but go higher. And then in two seconds, it'll take it all back. And so this is, you know, the, the, the difficulty that I have been you know, this, this fine line that I've been walking with where, you know, yes, there's opportunities all the time, you know, what have you, but then all of a sudden, you know, you get one of these and then you're taken out to the woodshed if you're on the other side. Uh, let's get to the cues. Uh, you know, Andrea, as I said, I, I took a bet yesterday that I didn't know what the outcome of this thing was. I thought we might even have a fake rally to begin the day with and then collapse, but we're just collapsing right off the bat. And uh, again, uh, I didn't know the outcome, but, you know, I, I look at, you know, earnings events and, and, and CPIs and things as catalysts to send markets to where, you know, they're going based on the pattern. And to me, this is the triple Qs. This is the proxy or the ETF that uh, tracks the, the NASDAQ. It's got Microsoft and all these, you know, big companies in there. And to me, this was the pattern all the way back in November. This was the beginning of the, the end of the bull rally right there. That was the pattern. So, you know, that's the thing. You know, when a market flashes a top, you can't all of a sudden make a bottom. You can't be topping and then bottoming. You know, it's doing one thing or another. Now, sometimes we get fake, you know, patterns along the way. Uh, you know, it looks like maybe there was a, a top here, but it never confirmed. You can see it never went through here and look like that. Whereas, you know, this did go through the neckline and confirmed that, you know, it was real as a heart attack. Once this thing crosses this neckline, now we have confirmation that this pattern is real and it's game on. And it's a reversal pattern, meaning that whatever led to this pattern now that market has been thrown in reverse. And by and large, this is what we should see over time.
And that's the key phrase over time. But there's been whole things along the way. And this is what bear markets do. Bear markets are the most vicious thing. Bear market rallies. They go 20% in a straight line. They don't let you breathe. And that's how you know they're bear market rally. Every time I see that it's all blue, you know, it's like markets need to just go up in an orderly way, red and blue and, you know, go up orderly. When you see that it's all blue on the way up, you know, it just doesn't let you breathe. And this is what the last, you know, if you look on the daily chart, it was all blue, four days in a row, all blue. And so uh, those are short covering rallies and they are the most hellacious, vicious, awful things to sit through. And I'm sure you guys know that real well. So in addition to this double top, you also have this head and shoulders. Looks just like a man or woman's head and shoulders. And so you have this huge bear price pattern. So if the pattern is bearish, the market has to do what? And uh, again, you know, it, it tests you, it rocks you, it forces you to go for that sucker pin placement on the golf course. And then all of a sudden you end up in the trap of the water if you, uh, if you go for it. And so this is the discipline. And this is the challenge that I have you know, as a manager of, of thousands of people around the world who rely on me, who want, you know, the next great thing. And, you know, sometimes when, you know, this is happening, I know this is not the next great thing. Well, I have to say, look, don't do anything. Be cautious. And that's not sexy. That's not what people want to hear. They want the action. And so uh, it's a very difficult line to tread here. And I'm just trying to do my best by you guys at, at all times. I'm not perfect, but I, uh, you know, I think I've been pretty consistent. And, uh, you know, I have been maintaining that we're in a big, bad bear market. Now, this is another, this is kind of a megaphone top or a downward thing. And, you know, I was thinking, well, maybe we, you know, come back to, what are we looking at? The Qs, 320 on the Qs. We went to 313 this morning. I thought maybe we would rechallenge the upside, but you know, either way, I just felt like we were at a very dangerous period here. And I do think, you know, September, October, we're gonna look like this. I've been saying this back in January. So, you know, uh, this is not a magic trick. This is just me observing what you guys are observing and you know putting my interpretation on it so you know you can chase these things and get into a lot of trouble and so you know here we are so now what do you do so yesterday i talked about you know i'm always searching for ways to simplify things make things easier make things more efficient you know and i was thinking well maybe i should just focus on the Qs or the 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 spies the s&p or the dow or the igf some of the etfs but then Mario and some other people in Europe told me that, you know, because, you know, if, if people, countries in, with different languages, if they can't, you know, if the, the, the countries can't make the disclosures in their language, then they won't allow trading in that. And so, you know, I, you know, I, I invite feedback from you guys as to how to simplify things, make things easier, make things better for you. Um, you know, I've been, you know, looking for stocks and, and what have you. I've been very hesitant to chase all of these rallies. They all look good, but, you know, here we have one day where it's all going to go backwards very, very quickly. I mean, yesterday I was talking about snow, snow and Airbnb just have this look of, you know, will they break out? Are they bear market traps down here? Or, you know, is it just going to go back into trend? And so this is the fine line I've been walking where, you know, uh, here is kind of the, this, this is very much a distribution, you know, it's head and shoulders, another head and shoulders, you know, pattern equals trajectory, you know, and we had the sell off. And now the question is, we're retesting the thing. Now is this a bear trap? And, you know, you uncoil and you get these, you know, huge short covering rallies. And so, you know, again, we're just in these middle zones where we're between support and resistance, we're right in the middle. And, you know, what do you do? And I was saying yesterday, I just need more information. You know, if I can't really see something, then better just to sit on the sidelines, wait for more information. 
And, you know, here today, we're getting more information <laughs> in a big way. So better to, you know, yesterday I was saying, just sit on your hands. Don't do anything. And I know I get a lot of shit. You know, Mark's not giving us any results and whatever. And again, I hope you appreciate this is just a fine line that I try and, and walk every day where I try and, you know, protect you and also wait for the kind of opportunities. And I've always been of the mind that this big bag was going to come out of somewhere. And, uh, you know, and here we are. So you can see, yeah, 45, 1.3 million. 1.3 million dollars short. So pop out a profit for 118,000 there. So you can see how this is going crazy now. You can see how the market just going nuts. I bet like a, a million six on this position. I'm showing right now $23,000 gain.